Because when I first came out, they used to say, why don't you get a real job? You're sitting out here in the corner. I have a real job. So now I tell them, those same real jobs y'all told me to get, they done shut down. But the one that God gave me, so. I'm still here. <laughs> Boogie job and rap is life where I'm from. Where I'm from? I might play with Izzy where I'm from. Where I'm from? It be like run your coat black. Jupiter keeps a fat beats by the pack where I'm from. Nappy hair is life. We be reading marks where I'm from. The kids be rocking clocks where I'm from. You turn around your cap. You talk over a beat. And dick some sounds booming out of Jeep where I'm from. So this is how vending got started in the city of Philadelphia. I started in City Hall Subway around 19, the late 60s. I was here before the ARA building. I seen all these buildings being built down here. I would come out and make one dollar. I was so happy with my dollar, it was a thousand dollars. I forgot I had to use half to go home and half to get back. But suppose I gave up, would be no vendors in the city of Philadelphia. I crochet hats while you wait. It takes 15 minutes to look for a hat, and that's how I start vending with those items. At the age of 27, I own my own factory in Camden, building about the size of this. I had the first black hot dog car built in 1976. Okay? Um, very successful. And I'm able now, what I do now is, I teach it. When people come and want to be a merchant, I teach them how to be a vendor. Or I teach them how to be a manufacturer. Or I know you heard of Marcus Garvey. Okay, by the grace of God, I am the official factory of the UNIA all over the world. Within 12 days, I made them over 300 flags. So the whole thing what I'm saying is, when God give you something to do, I don't care what nobody say, it's yours. You got to have enough faith to, to work on it, because if not, you deal with the system, oh, you can't do that. Go get a real job, go get a real job. But see, to be freedom is not free, so it takes a long time to be able to endure to be who you are, because though nobody has the master plan for the one God gave you, and this is why I'm here today. So you might have to struggle. I've been here since the 60s, so what is this now, 2001? 14. Woo, that's impossible. That's been a long... <laughs> has been a long time, but it's worth it. So now when I go all over the city, and I see the vendors, 52nd Street, when I go in the gallery, I see them, it's starting right here. So I tell people, when you see this stand, this stand rep represents your original black vendors of Philadelphia. I represent all the warriors that established vending here. So that's how vending got started. What I do is I'm, I'm a recording artist myself, but I actually feature um, various other artists here in the city of Philadelphia. Like a lot of people you might just see playing their instruments in the streets or something. I started to build relationships and rapport with them. But prior to that, in high school, it was about two rappers by the name of B. Drake and Authentic, and they had a CD. I felt like I needed to, to support them when they hold, you know, idea of just trying to have a CD out. Fortunately, I lost my mother at the age of 18. So what ended up happening was it was, I had a lot of freedom, so I didn't have anybody specifically telling me what to do. So I had a chance to really just either sink or just swim and pursue my dream. So, you know, it just can, it's, a, it's a whole big story, man, but what ended up happening is I started connecting with a lot of different artists. Hip-hop artists, rock artists, jazz artists, r and and I kind of consolidated them and um, put together these compilation CDs, and I've been pushing it ever since. I sold over 50,000 units independently. I always had that gift to gab, that gift to communicate, so I said instead of working, building up other companies, I used to work three jobs at one time. I said, you know what? If I can do that for them, I can definitely do that for myself, and I never turned back since. So right now, um, I'm promoting this project. It's titled Miracles, and uh, it's pretty much, uh, talks about my journey of being self-employed for the past 10 years, and it's a little documentary piece, but I set a goal that I said I'm gonna distribute 1,000 of them. If you look, um, I'm at 947 right now, and before y'all even came up, I was just talking, literally talking to myself, keeping myself encouraged by just, um, you know, staying persistent. You know what I mean? So like anybody, whenever you got a goal, whenever you got a vision, that's the main thing. You got to stay persistent. You got to stay get dedicated. Legendary artist Mark G. I 
And right now I'm working on the piece for uh, Key Sweat's concert. Well, I started drawing at a very young age. I mean, I remember in um, preschool, uh, Wildwood, New Jersey, down the shore. Um, one of my teachers had said to me that, uh, that he has talent, he can draw. So I guess I've been doing it ever since I can remember, man. Very young age. So inspiration-wise, back to your question, inspire me, I guess I was doing it and I saw my uncle. One of my uncle's, his name is Amos, he used to go down to our grandmother's house and I saw him drawing, painting, me and my brothers and sisters. Um, and that inspired me even more. I guess it sustained me to this day. So I'm just happy to be able to share the gift. You know what I mean? I have over over a thousand images like this. This is a style that I created called Contour Lanier Shading. And it's done with a ballpoint pen. Like a ballpoint pen. And they say that you can't shade with a pen, but I beg to differ. Anything's possible. So, uh, yeah, just started doing it with the pen one day. In my studio in West Philadelphia at the time. University City. And the uh, first piece I did was Bob Marley. A young man had uh, walked by and asked me if uh, he could buy the piece. I told him I was just dueling. I'm not, you know, I'm not really interested in selling it, but he was adamant because he came back the next day and uh, he really wanted to purchase the piece. So I made a reproduction of it and said, when I finished it, he gave it to him. I didn't charge him, I just gave it to him. Because he was uh, just so inspired by the piece. So that was actually the first piece of the series. Yeah, I've countless numbers, man. There, it's into the thousands by now. Um, uh, things are definitely done uh, done divinely. I mean, you guys came in here, you stopped by, I and mean, I was just so happy to be out here working on the piece. Don't get no mistake in that. There's no mistake in life. The steps you make, and the things that you do, everything is perfect. You hear me? People you run across, the things that you do, the things that happen to you in life, you just gotta follow it. You meditate on it and you say, well, why, why did it happen? That's why it's important for you to go back and understand how this whole thing works. People forget that we're on a planet floating in space. It's a galactic thing. This is only one part of it. And this time and day, you see all of this, this stuff that's around you, all the things that man has made that are so important in how they, the media pushes it out there, which is the format in which you're working in. So it's important for y'all to get that right now. You understand? Yeah, so it's no mistake you stopped here when you're talking.